Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where we should be able to finish, hopefully, fingers crossed, this uh, DD stop sign. We've got the two bronze plates now, which is the last little bit we needed. Ta -da! And we're going to pop it over here. Oh, hang on. There's already one there. So as soon as I made one, it made the initial one. So, I'm going to pop over, I think, to the hazardous ruins so I can quickly jump between there and here. So, if I want to go all the way down to the research guild or anything like that, it might be easier just to portal on over to there. So, I'm hoping that I can use these as soon as they are placed. Fingers crossed I can. That would be extremely handy. Placed! Yay! Where there are two or more DD stops, you can take a ride from one to t'other. Very good. Well, let's try these hazardous runes again, because I fancy it. <laughs> Can't wait to get to level 15 because as soon as I am, I'll make an iron sword. I'm going to make buy all those cool extra funky clothes and then I am going to boss. Extra defense isn't hurting us either. Those pinecocks have really, really cool hats that I can sell for lots of money. So I'm quite enjoying them, but I'm going to just peg it on over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. to the entrance to the ruins so I don't take away too much health or stamina before I get there you can do an awful lot in the uh, collapsed wasteland to be honest but I want to go and check out the ruins I want to see more of it because it's some really interesting levels and I don't know what these are that I've got to collect but I imagine that I can only go to level 2 once I've done certain things on level 1 Oh, well, this is one that I'm familiar with. We've done this one before. Oh. She says falling in the poison and damaging herself straight away. Probably because I know that I don't immediately die when that happens. So we pop up here and get the chest. Got a small silicon chip. We'll start to be able to sell these once we've got enough of them to make all the things for the tree farm, so that'll be pretty good. Okay, so from here I think we're jumping across to here. Oh, only just made it. And from here to here. There is another chest across the way. Oh, uh, if we jump onto that pipe. Got some copper wire, which is something that I need desperately. Um, can I get across to there? Oh no, I can't apparently. So we've lost like a hundred health already just jumping in poison. I am trying to be quick. What does this say? I don't know what I'm supposed to be collecting. So this is the boulder trap again. So I'm going to be a bit more savvy about it this time. I'll wait for them to go. And then I'll hop across to the other side. Oh, no, no, there's tons of them. And they're glitching as well, which doesn't help. Quick. You don't get much time, do you? Copper coil. 
which is fantastic. Get my sword out and hit this masked fiend. Level 14 masked fiend. Aha, we've got a wrench and a spring off him. That's awesome. Okay, so I need to wait a little bit. Where are they coming from? I can get past the rocks. Whoa! Maybe I can't. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, ow! Ooh, ow! Right, let's get these guys. Hurry up! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him before you run out of health. Kill those player imps. Get the masked fiend. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, Sheila, you can do it. Yes. Six goals, a spring. Seemingly, I can get whatever is in there. Data disk. Great. Um... But now I have no health left, so I'm going to have to exit again. At the moment, I can make it about two levels in here. I could see what the next level is. Oh, is this one with these guys? Okay, I'm going to exit. I'm going to try and make some um, grilled meat. Get some salt off Sophie. I think the grilled meat might give me... I can't remember whether it gives me stamina or health. I need something that gives me some health. I'm going to see if it says on the grill, actually, what happens there. I'm wasting a lot of my days just um, collecting things up in that hazardous ruins. But I think when I'm level 15, I will be a lot more tanky. Oh, good grief. Okay, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to get knocked out. Ah, run, run, run. So I need to work out what health items there are that I can use. There's a healing tincture thing that I can make out of herbs, I think. So I'm going to have to have a look at that. And try and make a bunch of them. But it means, this means I can just go straight back to my home. Apparently I can also go to the tree, tree farm already. That's pretty good. It costs 21 golds. Yep, that's fine. <gasps> wow, you get a little animation. Oh, I'm well happy with that. That's so much better. You get more of a sense that you've driven somewhere. So we basically took the bus back. Okay, so let's have a look at the grill. I want to see 24 stamina from that and 32 stamina from that. There's not a lot of stuff so far that I've seen that restores health. So let's go and have a look at the workshop. And have a look, there is definitely like a healing uh, 40 hit points from a herbal mixture, which is made from herbal tea and tree sap. Now, a simple ointment is made from three cotton. And two herbal teas. Can we make herbal tea then is the question. Apparently not. Pot of Asteria. She extra maximum health. From a carbon steel bar and Asteria. Mm. But no, I don't see how to make herbal tea, so that might be something I have to pick up from like the ruins or something. And we have plenty of iron, plenty of bronze. So it might be time to make another. Just have a look at what I've got there. Salt, lobster meat, lobster claws, got all sorts of stuff. put all my meat in here as well however the meat only really increases stamina it doesn't really increase health and the only thing that increases health that I can see oh stop it yeah, the only thing that I can see that really increases health uh, is the is that tincture and and the things that use herbal tea and I can't make herbal tea so it's like oh, I'm not sure how we're gonna work with that unless Sophie sells it 
We'll check in the morning. Sort of thing Sophie might sell actually. Okay, so I want to put back any metal stuff into there. My inventory is such a mess right now. I don't know about bits and bobs from the ruins though. Where are we putting those? Springs and things and bobby doodars. Honestly, we've got lots of um, coils and things like that at the moment. Let's see how much it is to make the boom box. Eight bronze plates, cassette box, leather horn, copper coil, silicon chip. The loudspeaker. Oh, copper coils. Oh, right. So I needed the iron and stuff to make the copper coils, but I'm actually just picking them up whole. I could probably make that. But let's make the boom box, shall we? So eight bronze plates, a cassette box. Which is iron bars and rubber fruit, which is easy. Blue leather. Hunting the collapsed wasteland. Oh, right, okay, do you know what? We'll make the loudspeaker first and then maybe we can make the boom box later. So we can definitely make that. Hardwood planks and copper plates. So let's make some copper plates, shall we? Why am I here? I need to be looking for any copper that I have. 12 copper bars. How much are nine copper plates or something? That's quite a lot. We might need to get some copper sorted out. Oh, the fuel is depleted. The fuel is always depleted. Oh my goodness. I need more trees. Luckily some respawned. So I will immediately cut them down in the way of the she lab. Deforestation. Cry of the Shelab in Porsche. I need more wood. I need more wood. More wood. All the time. It's kind of crazy how much wood you need in this game. I think that's the thing with crafting games in general though. You need to just you spend all your time chopping trees. I'm like the best lump gaming lumberjack ever. Okay, so let's refuel some of these. Get them working again. <laughs> that was all I had, enough to refuel two of them. That sucks. Well, to be honest, I get a lot of hardwood and things like that from these trees. I probably should cut down the smaller trees just to get normal wood for refueling. And again, hardwood is always useful. As I get data discs, I should definitely hand them in though. See if uh, we get any new th hidden little bits and bobs that we didn't know about before. Like, there's things to make industrial furnaces, but I don't have industrial furnaces, which makes me think that maybe there's something, they're either something that hasn't been implemented into the game yet, or there's something that is hidden in the research center. Ooh. Although at the moment I'm not feeling that there's much of a choice between church and uh, and tech, you know, religion and tech, which is normally quite a, a cool thing to choose between. There's some games that have done that really well. Okay, so let's see if we can refuel this now. So I want to refuel this and make a bunch of copper bars. Refuel this. So I'm making my bronze bars. Probably gonna make some hardwood planks overnight as well. I've got loads of hardwood in my inventory. Hardwood plank times 10. 
Not enough to make four copper plates. Uh, that's not enough. It's for the boombox. Sorry, for the loudspeaker, we need nine copper plates, two copper coils, four hardwood planks, and two simple circuits. I think we ha I'll just check we have the copper coils as well, because otherwise I might need to go back into the ruins. I think we do. Oh, we have one copper coil. Oh dear. Well, you know what I'm going to be doing then? Another run through the ruins, trying to get copper coils. It can be made, but I need um, copper wire and I don't have any of that. Nope. So we definitely, definitely need to go back to the ruins. That sucks. Yeah, well, it's getting quite late, so I think we're going to turn in for the night now. Keep thinking I should make more furniture as well for my house. I was going to see about a desk, wasn't I? See if I could put the desk lamp on it. Tea table. When placed in the house, additional attributes will. Oh, okay. Why do I have a feeling that I need one of those right now? You know how I was talking about not having tea? Oh, look, two iron bars. Handy. Not being able to make tea, uh, I'm wondering whether a tea table will allow me to do that. And if it does, I can suddenly make all the healing stuff. Which will be very useful. Right, so let's see if we can put this down. Tea table. So it's plus seven to my stamina as well, which is always very useful. So my tea table can just pop over here. I think. They all look like desks, don't they? Pop that down there. There are too many furnitures placed. Or is that that there's the maximum amount of furniture placed? So I can't do anything with the tea table. However, it might allow me... ...to make tea in the workbench or something. I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to make tea. Herbal tea. Umbrellas. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I might pull up my xylophone and see if there really are too many things placed in the house. I can just do that with my axe. So you can just pull up my xylophone. Okay. Then I'm going to pull up my tea table and then I'm going to put that back down. And just see if there was maybe an effect that should have come into place that didn't. Or I should have been able to use it for something. No, it doesn't seem like it. Check the grill just in case there's some new recipe there. Or tea, no. I was really hoping that would help me make tea. But let's go and have a look at Sophie's and see if she sells any tea. So I need something that will help me. Something that will help me regen uh, health of some description so I can get through these ruins better. Okay, so in the farm store we have milk, stamina, chili, salt, egg. 
eggs, which we can't use, flour, pumpkin, potato, fruit, rice, sugar. The reason I'm looking through all these is just to see. So there's nothing she sells that gives me any extra health. It's all just stamina regen. It was pretty much the same with the shop outside Django's. do anything else. I don't have any mail or anything like that. So we need another coil, don't we, to make our boom boxy thing. Or we can just try and make another DD stop. I'm thinking we'll go and we'll try and see if we can get the copper coil. And if I can get to level 15, that would be great too. Got three ring slots here. The only ring I've seen so far has been an engagement ring. Preach it! Yeah! Why am I going this way? I need to I need to make use of my DD stop stuff. Because I make enough in the ruins that it probably evens out. 21 goals, 8868. I wonder what that means, if anything. So it drops me outside the collapsed wasteland, which is great. Saves you guys watching me running around all the time. I use my bronze sword. And yeah, I'm just going to run past all these guys in the collapsed wasteland. Although, you know what? This is how I'm supposed to get the leather. What particular creature drops me some leather? Oh, Pan Batch, you're so annoying because you have a ranged attack, which is a pain in the butt. Anyone give me blue leather yet? No. That was a little bit janky then. It was like. The animations weren't quite going in right. There's all sorts of places to explore in, in this collapsed wasteland as well. I wonder if we can get to the top of that, for example. It looks pretty ruined to me, so probably not. I don't imagine it's going to let me in the water or anything like that. But I do just want to have another go at this. I do think it's really important that in the levels where I don't, where I can be careful, that I don't waste. Any health that I don't have to. Got venom, a wrench, and a copper pipe, and four goals. Oh no! That's not useful, is it? Stupid fire imps. Wow. My body got half my health after I'm like, I must be careful with all my health. But we made back enough money to pay for our trip over, which is pretty useful. So we shall continue. This is the boulder one, so that's not too bad. Probably starting on this side is actually probably more useful. I'll wait for the boulders to go down. Wait for a little break. More cost to this side. Go rid of the plier imp. pop across and get the chest whenever we can. Oh, they do bump around, don't they? Ow! I've got a valve, though. Useful. Whoa. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Kill these guys. Still can't really do more than about one level's worth. Even with being careful. Okay, cool. So that was a certain amount of gold's worth and some venom again. Venom will upgrade my sword. I may need to upgrade my sword before I get to level 15, which will be unfortunate, but... <sighs> Never mind. Get them, get the player imps. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Oh, I knocked out. Okay. Usually once I get knocked out, it's time to leave. And then I've got to try and somehow just run past all the stuff on the way out of the collapsed wasteland. But that wasn't too bad. I think I made a, a small profit there. Possibly. Probably not actually, by the time I've gone in and out. I don't know what a valve is for. But I didn't get the coil, which is what I wanted. But I think it sometimes depends on the luck of the particular areas you end up with. Like if I'd have got that pipe area, that would have been an area that I could have gotten through without any um, any damage taken. I'm gonna be lazy and just go back this way. Okay, I wonder how much that valve sells for, because. Let's go back in and get more stuff. A valve. Sell price of four? Sucks. Spines. Venom, five. Syringes, one. A data disc there. I'd be better off going up to the tree farm and fighting the pound bats up there, honestly. Thought it might actually be worth something decent. But no. Alright, let's see how everything is going over here then. So I'd be better off trying to make another DD stop, I think, because I don't have the coil yet. Let's build another one of those. So bronze pipes and bronze plates we're gonna need. Plenty of fiber cloth. So let's make some bronze pipes here. Make two of those. Pick up the planks, so that's great, that's enough for two. I'll make that bronze plate there and I'll add to it if I can, which I should be able to actually because it's made quite a few bits of bronzer. Make another two, which I think we only need four total per stop, so we'll need a bit more. We can add the hardwood. Yeah. Um, uh, the pipes are being made. Three of the bronze. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The bronze plates are being made, but one more bronze plate still needs to be made. We have one bronze bar. A bunch of copper there. Uh, do we have enough tin, though? Is the question. A little bit of tin left still, so enough to make some more. How much fuel is in there? Eleven fuel in there, so that should be enough to make what we need anyway. Got a bunch of copper bars there, so we can start making the copper plates at least. For the boom box or whatever it is we're making. So, oh, hang on. We're going to my inventory. Just double check in the handbook, the uh, loudspeaker, sorry, it's the loudspeaker, it's not the boom box. So the copper coils, you need 12 copper wire for that and eight iron bars. So if I can find one, that's great. But if not, I am starting to save up the copper wire, which is really good. So I need to probably make sure that the copper wire is all in one place. So I've got two coils there. I've got three coils from the last time I went in. So I've got five coils of it. I need another seven. 
So one one or the other will happen. And we've got another data disk there. Useful. We do have a couple of herbal mixtures. But the problem is if I can't like reliably make them, then I don't really want to go through them. At, and they only give me 40 HP a hit, so... Really, I, I need better stuff. I need to be level 15. I'll keep just popping in there until I am level 15, because that seems the best way to go about it, really. Uh, so let's... Uh, I've got bronze being made. No, that's all cool. So in the morning, we will again have enough stuff to make, or at least mostly make. We might need to wait an hour or so for the last bronze plate, but we should have enough to make the rest of the DD stop. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, so let's uh, pop to bed, shall we? But yeah, I'm looking forward to level 15, because as soon as I am level 15, I'll be making an iron sword. Straight away, making an iron sword. I'll be going down and buying those clothes. We've still got quite a lot of money here, so we've got things that we can sell, we can take commissions, uh, all that sort of thing. So we can definitely, definitely afford those clothes. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more My Time at Porsche, then please subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.